What's going on? Welcome to a solo recording. We haven't done one of these in a while. Now, uh, there might be two of these in a row. I'm not even going to lie. It's been a bit since I've solo recorded and just talked to you. But uh, you might see another one tomorrow or the next day as well. I'm going to pop off with these this week. And that is because I have some things to talk about, all right? Now, as you can see, we're playing solo Bed Wars as per usual. Actually, no, nah, it's normally doubles nowadays, eh? Anyway, we're playing solo Bed Wars for this video. Uh, we're currently rushing pink base and getting smoked by them. You guys didn't see that. But yeah, today's video is actually about the rotational items that were added, what day is it today? It's Monday, isn't it? So they were added half a week ago. They, they got added on, on Thursdays now. So I might be a little late to this one, but that's because I really, I didn't know what to do. I'm gonna be honest. So this is the first week uh, in a little while where I've just kind of been like, these items aren't really that good for content. How did he not die to that hit? Chuck some endstone on, eh? But yeah, this week I was just kind of like, I don't know what to do. So basically this week's items are cobwebs and snowmen. Now, this is why I'm a little puzzled. First of all, cobwebs should be good for content. They should be really good. They're just not. Uh, and that's purely my fault. I'll explain that when I get into it. And um, snowmen are like, okay, but they're wildly inaccurate and they're very expensive. And also we had the same item a few weeks ago. So we'll get into that in a bit, but that's a little summary of today's video. Uh, and we're just gonna be playing some Bed Wars and hopefully getting some Ws, if you know what I mean. It's been a while since I've actually just solo recorded. And last time I did it, you guys seemed to really like the video. So I thought, why not give it another go? Because this week I'm struggling to get clips to use for the, uh, the item rotation video. I might as well make a solo commentary video where I don't need to get clips. I can just record and, and see what happens, eh? This guy's pretty sweaty though. It was a pretty interesting first fight, but we got there in the end. And is that... Oh, hello. He's been eliminated. All right, well, you need to be careful of red then because he took out rank 82, which is like really good. <laughs> like my best rank in a Bed Wars tournament is 34. And I was very proud of that. So 82 is pretty impressive. You don't see that every day. What are you doing? Is this is this the new meta? We, we diagonal rush a Mirage? Interesting. Ah, maybe not. Get away from my island, good boy. Anyway, we will talk about the rotational items shortly. Uh, but first, um, until we get rid of these players that are rushing me, uh, I want to talk about where I've been. So I haven't been uploading as consistently as I was at the start of the year. I was doing like three uploads a week for some time there. But now I'm down to probably about one a week, plus the daily shorts. So I am still uploading daily shorts, but I'm only uploading one full video a week, which isn't great. It's not really good consistency, but it's a lot better than where I was. Um, so so we're taking that but um the reason that i'm pulling a lot less is well first of all this week i was really busy so there's that but also i'm up uh, i'm streaming a lot more again i'm back on the stream grind it's it's finally happening on uh, on twitch semi green so if you guys uh want to tune into some streams feel free to follow my twitch it'll be linked below uh and i will be streaming a bunch more uh as pretty much as, as much as i can i actually really what am i actually doing that was awesome. But yeah, as I was saying, I am really enjoying streaming on Twitch and I do it pretty much every time I get a chance. But my life is actually somewhat busy, so it's not every day. It's about three or four times a week is what I'm going for. Now, um, I kind of want to use some of the new rotational items on this guy. We got the snowman, which is 40 iron, which is pretty much exactly what the chicken gun or whatever the chicken sentry was called a few weeks ago. We're going to grab as many of those as we can. And then cobwebs are three gold for four of them. And uh, you can only buy them four times. So it ends up being 16 for 12 gold, I believe, which is a decent price considering when they came out uh, both of these items were priced differently you guys will never believe what the cobwebs were priced at they were originally a one purchase limit and you could buy 16 of them for 24 gold so literally double the price they are now which is just ridiculous no one's gonna buy them at that price it's it's absurd and i'm pretty sure the snowman started at 60 as well and i was like yo i didn't mean to fireball they're also very good at getting killed immediately so uh that's why they should be priced so low now i want to use my cobwebs on this guy if you get him stuck in cobwebs, along with uh, the snowman, he's going to eventually die to those snowmen, actually. <laughs> that was a terrible example because I'm bad with cobwebs and I got myself stuck. But I think the snowman's just finished this guy off. Let's just double check that. Did he get stuck in one of my cobwebs? No. That is really funny though. They actually killed him. That's crazy. Now, I think there are ways in which you can use these items to create some pretty funny things and actually find them quite useful. However, I think these ways are kind of niche enough and situational enough for it to not be considered a good item. Like, I think they've done a lot of items and they've done really well with a lot of them, but this week's kind of a bad week, I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of how I feel about it anyway. But if you can manage to like set them up in a way that they work together, they can be very useful because the snowmen die so fast and they're pretty inaccurate. But if like the, the target is near a snowman enough, it will pretty much always hit them. However, if a target is that close to a snowman, it's likely they can just one hit it 
uh, with their sword. So, so what that means is if I can use cobwebs and snowmen together in a way that will make them stuck in a cobweb and then I put a snowman like four blocks away from them, it could be pretty funny. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. Now, cobwebs are a little buggy for me because I've got 200 ping and I'm going to be honest, uh, it's not a smooth experience using cobwebs, but I'll try. All right, watch this. Yeah, see, he got to it on time. The cobwebs are very finicky for me. I don't get it. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if or if it's just weird, but it seems to not slow them down enough. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if he was even in the cobweb there because it was kind of hard to tell. He, he kind of seemed to be moving at normal pace. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm not very experienced with cobwebs because I am a 1.8 player who just plays PvP. Another thing that these cobwebs can be useful for is I saw a video by Specular Potato where he actually managed to block clutch with cobwebs in a way where he could place the cobweb at eye level and it would clutch him, whereas you'd usually have to place the blocks underneath your feet. So it's actually kind of like an easier way to block clutch if you can manage to pull it off. Now, I've never tried it before and I've only seen Specular do it, but um, it's an interesting thing that I do want to give a go. This guy is actually the guy from last game that was level 82 or number 82. So that's a little threatening. I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I also only have eight blocks. I actually don't have a way to go anywhere other than gray, which is where he is. Cobwebs can be useful when you do that because they're now slightly above eye level, which means that can happen. I can literally hit them while they can't hit me. Oh God, this is bad. This guy has jump boost. Oh yeah, this is so where I die. Well, I'm gonna try to keep doing this block clutch thing with cobwebs. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, let's have a little chat about other stuff. If you guys haven't seen any of my latest videos, maybe my last two, I think it was, I recently got uh, a, a, a creator code. So if you did wanna support me a little bit and you're like maybe gifting some people ranks or something on Hypixel and you wanna support me, chuck in my creator code when you're buying gold or whatever on the store. Can't believe he's actually killed me there. And then you will you will be able to get 5% off and it will, it will give me a little bit of money couple cents um so that'll be very nice i really do appreciate anyone who's already used the code uh and also one more thing i'm kind of low-key plugging everything at the moment but this one's for good reason i made a tweet and also a um youtube community post asking for your theories and opinions on the latest bed wars update now we don't, we don't really have an update let's be real i don't know if we can actually call it an update however we have got a new lobby Oh, balls, cock. As I was saying, we've got a new lobby that just came out uh, last week, uh, just before the weekend. And <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, and it is a nice lobby. I really like it. However, there is an NPC in the lobby that I've never seen before and hasn't been in Bed Wars before. Now, uh, it's called Perplexed Person, and it's very interesting. Now, I want to go in depth about this tomorrow because Perplexed Person... This is bad, actually. What? Now, Perplexed Person has some dialogue, and it's, uh, it's very foreshadowing but also very discreet. It doesn't really give us much information. Oh my, how have I fallen off there? Wow, that was a lot of knockback. But yeah, basically all this NPC is telling you is that there is a new building behind them and it might open up soon. <laughs> That's pretty much all it says. So this now has a lot of people talking about what it means, what it, what is what is opening up soon. This guy is crazy. Um, and, and what the go is with that. And I want your opinion because I will be making a video on it probably tomorrow and going through all of your theories and opinions on what, what it means. What do you think's coming out? Whether or not anything actually is coming out. I'm, I'm very interested because I want to get people talking I actually deflected that on my ping. That's crazy. I want to get people talking about this uh, this whole Bed Wars thing because it's been... I'll look it up and I'll tell you tomorrow in the video. But it's been literal years since we've had a major Bed Wars update. Like, we've had the seasonal changes with the new items, the new... Sorry, the new cosmetics. We've had rotational items, which I would consider a pretty big update. But we've not had a major content update for Bed Wars in years. I'll have a look at the date of the last update and I'll let you know. Uh, in tomorrow's video, but yeah, very interesting. I want to get people talking about this because this could be a, a revival of Bed Wars. That's a big call, but it's definitely, definitely got potential, depending on what they do with this update, to really get some traction back. The kind of Hypixel's neglect of Bed Wars has kind of led to this, and we've seen a lot of frustration from people such as Boomer and A about this. But I'll talk a lot more about it tomorrow. This is just kind of a summary of what was what's coming tomorrow. And I don't know if it will be tomorrow. It might be the next day. I plan on recording it tomorrow. So yeah, the tweet will be linked below uh, this video if you want to go and respond to the tweet. And the community post that I've posted that says basically the exact same thing as the tweet is on my channel, so you can check the community tab for that. And um, I want your opinion. I want to hear it. I want to know what you guys think. And I'll be going through all of the 
responses tomorrow and uh, uploading that whenever I can. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about today. The new, the new uh, items plus the potential new update that I'm going to be talking about tomorrow. And my, my, uh, uh, my Hypixel creator code. Please use that. I'm desperate. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. I don't know. This might be the time to pull it off. Just kidding. I don't take knockback. <laughs> just knock back sticking me and I'm just not moving. What? Yo, I promise I'm not a cheater. I'm on Luna Clive. I guess you can probably inject into Luna, <laughs> but I promise I'm a legit player. I think anyway, like think about it. Am I really smart enough to have hacks and, and hide it from literally everyone watching? Definitely not. That you're giving me way too much credit there. If you actually think I'm cheating, <laughs> that was so crazy. That dude, I kind of want to rewatch that fight. I'd be so pissed if I was that guy. His W tap wasn't enough. You can also do a, a cobweb clutch with fall damage like this which i'm sure is a very effective use of cobwebs especially because you get stuck in it afterwards but i want this guy to kind of come out to me nice and i want to try to cobweb clutch can you hit me off Ooh, yo wait so i'm alive can i get out of this to the side and place blocks oh my god oh my god No! Oh my god, I nearly did it. I actually nearly just did it first go. Oh, that would have been amazing. I want to try to hit a cobweb clutch that'll actually save my life. The thing is, you can hit it, and it seemed like it was pretty easy because I did it first go. But what happens once you hit the cobweb clutch? Then what? That's the real question, isn't it? I have an idea. Maybe I could combine it with a bridge egg and bridge egg away. That could probably work. I don't know how a bridge egg would work if you're inside the cobweb, but we're about to find out if I can hit the clutch. All right. I want this guy to hit me off again. I'm, I'm like faking montage clips here, basically. Jump over here. Okay. And now if I bridge egg, okay, it places it like over there. That's not really that helpful, is it? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> Now, I can't buy any more cobwebs. I've run out of my limit. So I got as many snowmen as I could, and I think I'm going to try to use them to kill him. But um, you get the idea of the cobweb clutch. I'm sure Specular's done better than me. I didn't watch his full video, but I watched the first clip, and it looked like he did pretty well. So um, watch that video if you want to if you want to see any uh, cobweb clutching that actually goes well. But you get the idea from mine. Uh, this guy's going to fireball jump, I think. <gasps> oh, my God! Yo, I just got bamboozled. Now I don't have any snowmen. That's that's not good. Um, that's not good at all. I'm going to risk the whole game for this. I want to clip with snowmen that works well. For the finale of this video, I'm going to run away from my bed. He can have it. I don't want it, but I'm going to collect every generator, and I'm going to get a lot of snowmen. Oh, yeah. Also, I said I'd mention it later, and I never did, but I got a friend request from someone. Oh, my God. There he is. That was terrifying. I got a friend request from someone called Justin, which is, uh, if you don't know Justin, he's like my first online close friend, Um, and and, and he was the first person I like played Bed Wars with um, as a duo. And he lost his account to a freaking Hypixel rank gifting scam. And he's a pretty smart person, all right? He's very dumb for that. But if he can fall for it, pretty much anyone can. So be, be, be very careful when someone offers you ranks or Luna Cosmetics in a Bed Wars lobby. You do not need to click any link to get given anything, all right? How it works is they a little book will pop up when you're gifted a rank and it'll say, so-and-so has gifted you this rank. Do you accept it? All right, you will never ever ever have to click a link that someone has put into chat that is never a way that you will ever receive anything from a player on hypixel so don't click on those probably should have told justin that before he lost his account <laughs> but he did manage to get a new alt with his name on it because for some reason the hacker changed his old account's name so we're thankful for that and now he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> use his new account to play bed wars on this person still hasn't broken my bed oh my god they said fist fight yes yo yo yo, yo. they said fist fight i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna bring some snowmen to a fist fight hello mate what we're gonna do here is you're gonna break my bed and think that you have the upper hand but i have a lot of iron nine snowmen go for it he says do i break okay now i'm gonna go up the side here he's, he's getting rid of the exit points that's that's actually probably just gonna help me okay go my boys go my boys go oh my god i can't play some more go get him get him Get him! He's on four. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, he's running away, but there's ones at the top. Surely they do something here. He's gapping up. Oh, he's gapping up a lot, actually. He's he's chugging! Now, these guys don't run out of ammo. They only disappear after 60 sec- Actually, the timer's gone. Maybe they ch they changed it so they don't disappear at all. Maybe they should be priced a little higher than 40 then. I don't know. Anyway, these guys are still going at it. As I said, they're wildly inaccurate. Like, this guy's shooting through walls here, uh, and none of them actually seem to be making any hits land. Come on, guys. Get him. Get him. All right, this guy's playing too smart to let this happen to him. I might just have to put him out of his misery. I want a snowman to kill him, though. 
Damn it. I don't think it's going to happen. They're all gone, actually. They all despawned. Well, I think... Oh, that's a bow! Oh, that's a strong bow. That is a strong bow. All right, we're going to have to... I don't know how we're going to deal with this. I'm actually kind of low. I'm losing in damage. So I just like... What do I do? Oh, he has... How many gapples does this man bring to the battle? All right, I'm going to go buy some gapples. This is outrageous. Okay, he's coming this way. I'm going to invis up in here. He's going to think I'm crouching in here. Oh, crap. He brought snowmen as well. Oh, crap. Do they see invis? They see invis. Okay, this is bad. He's going to know exactly where I am. Oh, I've been exposed by the snowman. I forgot they were there. Oh, balls. I'm going to die to the snowman. <laughs> okay, Dio, not the time. Not the time. Ah! Okay, I don't know how to... Should I just put this guy out of his misery? It's a bow fight. <laughs> what is going on? What is this game? I'm just going to put him out of his misery. How many prots do you have? <laughs> that was good English. Well, we won. And the snowmen, I can confirm, are useless. And the cobwebs weren't that great. Thank you. Means a lot. <laughs> that was this week's item rotations. Not very good. Not very bad. Kind of just in the middle. Here's the new lobby, by the way. So yeah, be sure to drop your comments. Uh, uh, not on this video. Don't comment on this video. I will not be looking at it. Uh, go to the community post or the tweet uh, and tell me what you think about this. This is the perplexed person here. In case you haven't seen it, he's in front of this building. And <laughs> Shut up, time, Dio. And he, he he says basically maybe a lot open soon the doors locked blah blah so that's pretty much all we know at the moment plus this new lobby that's amazing and uh yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next video good boy also use code sammy please